Today we're going to upload some new content to our InfoPoint. Remember InfoPoint works on Drupal 7 so any Drupal 7 website or sets of instructions will work pretty much in the same way. Uh, first of all make sure you're logged in. You know you're logged in because you can see additional menus, view, edit, track etc on the uh, the top of the screen and also you'll be able to see additional menus uh, like add content and indeed it's add content that we actually want to do. So now there's several content types we could upload and today we're going to upload some text and images. Uh, we saw um, lots of frogs in the garden pond today and lots of frog spawn so we're going to make a new page about the uh, frogs in the garden and so we're going to call it frogs in the pond and uh, spring is here uh, today 11th March 2014 oops to that today we saw 30 frogs in the oops I'm, spelling's not up to much is it 30 frogs in the pond and loads of frog spawn. Okay, sure sign springs here. We scroll down the uh, page a little bit. We're now going to choose an image. Here's our image, frogs JPEG. Uh, we select that. Um, we haven't finished yet because we've got to upload the image. Very important. Alternate text appears. Uh, frogs in the pond. It's always a good idea to use alternate text and title text as different browsers work in different ways and prefer one or the other. And we ignore those other tick boxes and we want it to appear as a menu link. Now helpfully the page title has been used as a default uh, menu title. You can add description if you want, not terribly useful useful on mobile devices. Light menu items float to the top so we make it really light so it comes to the top. And save. And that's it. Frogs in the Pond is our top item. So if we click on home we can see Frogs in the Pond We've created a new page and new content on our info point on Drupal 7. Uh, log out and we finished.